Hey guys, we're going to play with optic fibres today. Grabbed one of these new fibres from the uh, data centre which we use, uh, LC to SC, small connector and big connector there. And I also grabbed the fibre tester. This is used for testing fibres, uh, hence the name, and a few other bits and pieces as well. But it um, it can test you know, a fibre that's from one data centre to another, 20, 30, 40 kilometres long. It'll tell you where all the joins are from the reflection of the signal, and it will also uh, test or check the end of the cable with the uh, microscope here. I can't actually do the reflection test and all that because I don't have the infrastructure in my house. Uh, may, maybe I can do it with the uh, the fibre to the home connection, but it's live, so I've got to check that. But what we're doing in this video is we're going to have a look at the end of the, the fibre optic cable. So I've got my scope, my device, some cleaners and the, uh, the fibre there. And I'll show you how, just how dirty these things can be from the pack. I haven't opened this up, it's brand new. It may be clean, but it often they've got a little bit of dirt on the ends you've got to clean off, even though they're straight from the factory. So it's always a good idea to clean your fibres. But we'll have a look at that. I'll show you how easy it is to get these things dirty, and uh, then how to clean them properly. So, let's get to it. So you can actually end up with dirty fibres straight from the factory. I've had it many, many times, even damaged fibres where they got like chips and the causes of reflection. So they're definitely worth checking before you use them, especially in critical applications. So let's plug this in and see what it says. Right there you can see it is a bit dirty. You see that little dot on the left hand side as I'm rotating it around? And there's some lines, you might be able to pick them up on the screen there. A few lines, they're kind of horizontal. As if I turn it, they're going to vertical there. There's a bit of dirt around the place, so that's a bit dirty, that needs a clean. And the other side, yeah, we're dirty as well, look at that, that's terrible. Not the worst I've seen, but it's definitely needing a clean. So if I zoom in in the centre, yeah, you can see all the, uh, the black marks there. I'll just make sure that's focused. Right about there, and we'll do a test. See if it fails or if it passes, give it a second, oh it's actually passed, even though it's so dirty. We'll clean it anyway, and then I'll show you a few different things about cleaning these. So to clean these, you can use a cleaning pen, this is an IBC brand cleaner for the SC connector, that's the larger one, the LC is the small one. We'll just play with the SC for now because the process is exactly the same. And I also have this nifty little thing. So you basically I'll pull the trigger and the door opens. This is good for things where you don't have one of these or you need to clean something that these don't fit. Like the end of this. Because if I touch the end of that and then I put it on the end of there, if I touch the dirty end of this onto the end of the fibre, it'll transfer any of my finger grease and grode and whatever onto the fibre and it'll actually dirty the fibre. So it's, try not to touch the end and just... Keep it clean and you'll be fine. To use this one, this is easy. You've got a little top cap, you open it up, plug it in, give it a few pumps, and you're done. Now this also comes off, so that allows you to clean whatever that plugs into, because it goes into a socket, and that sticks in and you go click, 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 and that will clean the socket, and that's for the plug. So let's give this another go and uh, see what it looks like. And that is looking much better. If I zoom out, that's perfectly clean. Not even a problem there. And the other one, oh, we've got a little dot just on the left there. But apart from that, that's perfect. That little dot will pass, but I'll, I'll quickly give it another clean, see if we can get rid of it. and it's gone. So it's perfectly clean. They're perfect to be put into use and they won't be a problem whatsoever. Now, I'll show you what happens if you touch these. So all I have to do, clean hand, just give it a touch, that's dirty. And that might even fail because it's going to be greasy streaks all over it. So let's look at that on the scope now. Yeah, look at that. Oh, dirty. I'll zoom in. Yeah, you can look at those streaks. So let's let's give that a test. Give it a second, see what it says. 
failed. Zone B and Zone D. You can see all up the top here that there's a red dot there, that's Zone B, and this outer white section is Zone D, all these big streaks here. You got a Zone uh, zone A, is is right in the middle. I think B is actually almost to the edge here. Then Zone uh, C is a, the very edge between the black and the white, and Zone D is outside. You got like circles, you know, one circle here, one circle here coming in. But yeah, that's failed, so I have to give that a clean. Now, what happens if I just clean up my shirt? So I could just unplug that and go, ah, oh, it's all right. I'll just get my shirt, give it a wipe. She's good. Plug it back in and let's get this, this network back up and running. Well, let's have a look and see what happens. You can see that. Look at that. That's no good. That's just from my shirt. And my shirt's clean, I, I do assure you. <laughs> Sometimes you get lucky and it'll be clean, so I'll give that another quick wipe and see what happens. Yeah, so it's come up a bit cleaner, but there, if I rotate that, you'll see little bits. I don't know how good it's coming up on the screen, but um, on the camera, but yeah, it's still dirty. We'll give that a test. Give it a second. It might pass. Yeah, that's passed, but you can see it's very dirty. If I zoom in, you can see this. It's picked up, it hasn't failed it, but it's picked up some blotches up here and then down the bottom here. If there's nothing in here, generally it's pretty lenient in the if there's nothing in the black. But let's give that a clean and we'll have a look at it again. I'll go to live view and there we go. Oh, there's a little bit on the side there. Hang on. And and there we go, perfectly clean, ready to go back into service. Very easy to get dirty, don't touch the end, and putting it on your shirt might make it clean-ish, but it's not going to be optimum. You need a proper cleaner, like a, a cleaning pen or a, like a one of these wipey sort of style ones, and then you're going to be perfectly clean and you know you're going to get a good signal. Now, what does it look like on the camera when we've got a chip in there or a scrape? Well, I'll try and simulate a scrape with a uh, scalpel and we'll uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so you can see there I've given that hell with the uh, scalpel. You can see there's scratches all over the place. Here, there's a big one there, all around like this. So that's what a, uh, you can see there's a Maybe you can see a darker splotch there, that's a bit of dirt, but the scrapes come up white. So let's give that a test. It's definitely going to fail. Give it just a sec. Bang. You can see there's, you got the blue sections, the blue dots. You got the dirt it's found, you got these green lines. It's found the scrapes, but they're not causing too much of a problem. It's failed only on one chunk just over here. So if there are a few scrapes, sometimes it passes it. It depends if, where it is. If that scrape went through that central piece there, the little yellow circle, definitely a fail. If there's anything in there, that's where your main light path is. But even if it's out here, it can cause like reflections and stuff, and then that's going to interfere with your signal. So let's give that a bit of a clean, see what happens. Yep, this one's definitely dead. I killed this fiber. Bang. You found that little dark bit in the middle this time. Just there. I still got this. It's failed here, and also out here it's found another one. Must be the different angle that I've got the uh, thing plugged in at or something. But yeah, this cable's dead. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, that's, that's basically how this thing sort of works. So, the moral of the story is keep your fibers clean and keep them protected. Just wiping on a bit of rag or a bit of paper towel or a bit of fabric isn't going to cut it. You definitely need to get a proper cleaner. And these things are cheap anyway. And also don't trust these things straight out of the pack. If it's a non-critical application, yeah, it might be okay. But uh, if you can get a tester, definitely get a tester because you'd be amazed at how dirty these things can be. This one was actually a very clean one. 
Um, some of them look like they've been dragged through the mud and licked by a dog and all sorts of stuff. Oh, they look terrible. But yeah, so that's the different failure modes that you'll find on one of these things. The, uh, the shiny bits come up white, the dirty bits come up black. Usually it's easy to clean if it's black, if it's shiny, uh, you might be looking at a new fibre. You can polish the end if you need to. Um, if it's like a transit fibre that you can't replace because it's hardwired into the building or something, then yeah, you'd be looking at uh, getting your polishing kit out and cleaning the end. But for a cable like this, you just throw it away and get another one. It's not worth the time really. Alright guys, hope you found that interesting and we'll see you next time. Also, don't forget, we do have Patreon, so if you want to support the channel, feel free to head over there and uh, see what you can do. But, eh, there's no pressure. Keep watching the videos is all I care about. We'll see you next time.